In this 20 minute yoga workout, we'll challenge the body and mind with powerful poses and target the core, legs, and arms. Let's begin in a seated position on our mats. Let the eyes close and rest the hands on the knees, letting the palms face up. Get long through the spine, relax through the hip creases, and begin to deeply inhale through the nose. Long, deep inhale. And then exhale through the nose. Long, deep exhale. This is our yogi breath, our ujjayi breath. So again, inhale through the nose. And exhale slowly through the nose. One more time. Deep, long inhale through the nose. And a long, deep exhale through the nose. Blink the eyes open and start to lift the right arm towards the sky. Take the left palm to the mat just outside of the left hip. We'll inhale, lengthen through the right arm, and then exhale, side bend over to the left. Inhale, find length through the right side body. And on the exhale, start to swivel the chest open towards the sky. Use the core to bring you back through center, and then inhale, reach the right arm again towards the sky, lengthening, and on the exhale, start to twist to the left, hooking right hand to the outside of the left knee. For every inhale, lengthen a bit more through the spine. For every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. The next breath brings us back through center. And this time we'll take the right palm to the mat, lifting the left arm on the inhale, and on the exhale start to side bend over to the right. So inhale, lengthen through the left side body, and exhale, swivel the chest open towards the sky, maybe even gazing up over that left armpit. And then use the core to bring you back through center. We'll inhale, lengthen again, reaching up. And on the exhale, start to twist over to the right, hooking this time left hand to the outside of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, all the way up through the crown of the head. And on the exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Start to unwind, coming back through center again, and we'll make our way onto hands and knees into a tabletop position, aligning wrists directly below shoulders and knees directly below the hips. Flowing through a few rounds of cat-cow, we'll inhale, start to sink the belly towards the ground, gazing forward into our cow pose. On the exhale, we'll curl in into cat pose, tucking chin to chest, reaching the spine towards the sky. Inhale again, coming into your cow pose, arch the spine. Exhale, into cat pose. Inhale, cow pose, arching the spine. Exhale, curl everything in, gazing in at the belly, cat pose. Inhale again, cow pose, arching the spine. Exhale, cat, curling everything in. On the next breath, make your way back into a neutral tabletop. Tuck the toes, and then lift the knees just an inch or two above the ground. So just hovering the knees, warming up the core. Inhale. And on the exhale, send the hips up and back into your downward dog, into an inverted V shape. Deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, shift forward into your plank pose. We'll be here for two deep rounds of breath. Engage the core and the quads and the arms. And on the exhale, find your downward dog, shifting the hips back. Inhale, shift forward again into your plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Use the core in your transitions. Inhale again into your plank pose.
and then exhale, downward dog. Inhale again into your plank. On the exhale, lower your knees to the ground and then bend the elbows back, lowering the torso to the ground. When you get all the way down, untuck the toes and bring your forearms to the ground to a 90 degree angle, aligning shoulders above elbows. With palms planted, spread the fingers wide, start to lift the chest up towards the sky, gazing forward into your sphinx pose. So the shoulder blades roll back and down away from the head. In this pose, we wanna make sure that we're building strength and getting a stretch in the chest and in the upper back. So make sure that you're relaxing through the lower back and that there's no tension there. Take one more deep inhale. And on the exhale, let the core guide your chest down to the mat. We'll use the hands as a pillow and bend the knees, letting the legs windshield wiper back and forth. Remember the breath and let the breath guide your movement. And maybe you'll find you want to linger a little more on one side and that is totally fine. This is your practice after all, so really make it yours. And then extend the legs out long again. We're gonna plant the hands on either side of the chest. The elbows pull in towards one another and we're gonna to start to lift the chest and lift the head up into our cobra pose so the shoulders are still drawing back. On the exhale, lower back down, take a breath. And then on the inhale, we'll rise up either to cobra or if you're comfortable with coming into full upward dog, we'll rise up into full upward dog with straight arms and with the body hovering off of the ground except for the hands and the tops of the feet. Deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, send the body back into your child's pose. Take your time getting there. This is actually a counter pose to upward dog, so it should feel really good for your spine and your hips. On the next inhale, make your way into your downward dog and start to lift your right leg towards the sky into your three-legged dog. And then using the core, we're gonna swing the right leg forward, stepping the right foot right in between the hands at the top of the mat. Lower the left knee to the ground, lift the arms up towards the sky, low lunge. Make sure you have knee ankle alignment in the front leg, and then get really long through the side body. On the next inhale, we're gonna lift the back knee coming into high lunge. If you need to take the hands to the front knee to help you up, then go ahead and do so. Once you're there, the arms reach up once more, and we're trying to get as straight as possible through the back leg. Deep inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna take a twist, opening up to the right, so the left arm reaches forward, the right arm reaches back, and we start to gaze over to that right side. Try to sink a little bit deeper in the pose. And on the next inhale, we'll untwist, reaching the arms up, facing forward again. On the exhale, lower the left hand to the ground, to the inside of the right foot, lift the right arm to the sky. If it's okay on the neck, gaze up past the right fingertips and keep straightening through the back leg. On the exhale, we'll plant the right palm and step the back foot forward, forward fold. Since this is our first forward fold, we'll spend a few breaths here. So take any variations of forward fold that you may want to open up a little more, maybe rocking side to side, nodding the head, shaking the head, maybe grasping opposite elbows and hanging like a rag doll. Just personalize it, making it your own forward fold. On the next inhale, we'll start to rise all the way up to standing position, lifting the arms up overhead. When you get there, really try to reach all the way from the heels to the fingertips. And on the exhale, we'll start to fold forward, hinging at the hips. On the next inhale, we'll come into a halfway lift, so we'll press the palms into the shins, flattening the back, gazing forward. On the exhale, we'll fold back in, plant the palms this time, and step both feet back into our plank position. 
On the next exhale, we're going to lower down in towards Chaturanga. So keeping the body tight and engaged, we're going to bend the elbows in towards the ribs, lowering the body down. And then we'll inhale into our upward dog. On the exhale, find your downward dog. Start to lift your left leg high to the sky into three-legged dog. And then swing the left leg forward, planting the foot into your low lunge. So the right knee plants and we lift the arms up overhead. Keep lengthening through the side body. Slightly tuck the tailbone to exaggerate the stretch in the right hip flexor. Remember your breath. And on the next inhale, we'll find our way into high lunge. So rising up off of the back knee, arms reach up overhead. Maintain that 90 degree bend in the front leg. Take a long, deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, start to twist, opening up to the left side. So the left arm reaches back, the right arm reaches forward. And keep bending and sinking into your lunge. Maybe start to gaze past the left fingertips if that's okay on the neck. And on the next inhale, we unwind. Coming back through center, arms reach up. And on the exhale, we'll plant the right hand to the inside of the left leg. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Gaze past the left fingertips. And try to be really light on your planted right hand. Take a long, deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, plant the left hand, stepping the back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, arms reach up overhead. And on the exhale, we'll bring the hands to touch at heart center. We'll take this quick moment to remember our presence. And if our mind has wandered at all, just let it drift back to this place, to this moment. And then inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift, pressing palms into shins, flat back. Exhale, fold back in, plant the palms, step both feet back into plank, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, lowering the body down, chaturanga. Inhale into upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. We'll spend two deep rounds of breath here. While you're here, keep working on making your pose stronger and more stable. So find length through the back. Work on pushing your chest closer to your thighs, feeling the stretch in your shoulders. On the next inhale, shift forward into plank, and then transfer your weight into your right hand. Come onto the blade of your right foot and stack the left foot right on top. Lift the left arm to the sky. Reach the hips higher to the sky in your side plank and maybe start to gaze past those left fingertips. From here, start to lift the left leg towards the sky. And then to the best of your ability, we're gonna grab the left big toe with the first two index fingers of the left hand. And we're gonna guide the left foot to the top of the mat into a high lunge. So this means that the right foot is gonna have to swivel so you're on the ball of the right foot. And then lift the arms up overhead into your full high lunge. On the exhale, we'll open up into warrior two. So the arms come to a T as the back heel swivels down, gazes over the front fingertips, hips are actively trying to open. And on the exhale, we'll reverse the warrior. So the left arm reaches up and then back as the right hand lightly slides down the right leg. The next inhale brings us back through warrior two. And on the exhale, we find our way into side angle, left elbow to left knee, right hand reaches forward. And for more of a challenge, feel free to take the left fingertips to the ground, to the inside of the left foot. And on the exhale, we'll plant both palms to the inside of the left foot, swivel the back foot forward into our lizard pose. 
So try to roll the shoulders back, finding length through the collarbones, and try to straighten more through the back leg. Make sure that the left knee is in line with the left ankle and not tracking out past the ankle. And on the next exhale, lower the back knee to the ground. Inch the back knee a little bit closer to the front of the mat, and whenever you're ready, power through the back foot and step the back foot forward to the outside of the right hand. On the inhale, rise all the way up to stand, arms reach up. Slightly turn the toes out, and then start to bend deeply through the knees, sink the hips, coming into your yogi squat. So the palms are touching and the backs of the arms are pushing into the inner leg and the inner leg is pushing back into the arm, providing some resistance. And we get long through the spine, finding length. Take a deep inhale, settling into the pose. And on the exhale, lift the hips out of the pose. We'll start to set up for our crow pose. So plant the palms firmly, spread the fingers wide, and start to work your knees as far up your arms as possible. So it's almost like you're getting your knees into your armpits. And then we're gonna start to rock the chest forward, and then lift the hips up, and then lift maybe one foot, maybe the other foot. Use the core to engage. Lift the heels higher towards the butt. The gaze is forward past the fingertips. And on the next exhale, float the feet back down to the ground. From here, just take the knees outside of the arms. Walk the fingertips forward as far as possible so the feet are in towards one another. And just let the chest melt towards the ground. And then start to lift the torso out of the pose. And then step forward into your forward fold. We'll inhale to halfway lift, flattening the back. Exhale to fold back in. Plant the palms on the inhale, finding your way into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. On the next inhale, shift forward into plank. This time, we'll transfer the weight to the left arm. Coming onto the blade of the left foot, we'll stack the right foot right on top, lift the right arm to the sky, side plank. Once you've found stability, lift your right leg towards the sky, and then we're going to take that grasp again, hooking fingers to toes, and then swiveling the back foot forward, coming into our high lunge. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, straighten a bit more through the back leg reaching the back heel a little closer towards the ground. Exhale, opening up into warrior two, swiveling the back heel down. And then flip the front palm, and on the exhale, reverse your warrior, finding length in that right side body. Inhale, back up to your warrior two. And then exhale into your side angle, right elbow to right knee, the left arm reaches up and over. And for more of a challenge, take the right fingertips down to the ground to the inside of the right foot, gazing past the left armpit. On the next exhale, we'll plant both palms to the inside of the right foot, coming into lizard pose. So again, just check your alignment. Try to broaden through the collarbones. Make sure the right knee is in line with the right ankle. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, lower the back knee to the ground and then inch the knee forward and then power through the back leg, stepping it forward into a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, arms reach up overhead. And on the exhale, we'll bring the palms to heart center, sinking once more into our yogi squat. So really slow and steady to get there. Lengthen through the spine once you're there, gazing forward. Deep inhale. And on the exhale, find your way into a seated position. We'll make our way into boat pose for some core work. So we're gonna lift the feet off of the ground, bending the knees, reaching the arms forward right outside of the knees. Find length through the spine. Deep inhale, 
and on the exhale, lower the legs to the ground, rising out of the pose. We'll bring the soles of the feet to touch, letting the knees splay out, coming into Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose. So take the hands to your feet, and first just start to lightly massage your arches, and then just let your body fall over your legs, releasing your neck. Deep inhale, and on the exhale, rise back out. Bring the knees into touch with the soles of the feet on the ground. Reach the arms out long again, and start to roll down one vertebra at a time until you're on your back. Once you're there, cross your right ankle right above your left knee, and start to draw your left knee in towards the chest, maybe even grabbing under that left thigh to pull it a little bit closer and flex through both feet. So we're in a figure four position. And then staying in this figure four position, we'll lower the left foot back to the ground and then let the knees slowly and gently fall over to the right side. Figure four twist. To open a little more through the chest, we'll come into cactus arms. So first just take the arms out to a T with the palms facing up, and then bend the elbows so that the arms are in 90 degree angles. If any area of the body feels tense, just take a moment to relax. And then uncross the top leg, bringing the knees back to center. This time we'll place left ankle right above the right knee into figure four, flex both feet, and start to lift the right foot off of the ground, and maybe even grab the right leg and pull it closer to the chest. And then release the right foot back to the ground, and let the knees fall over to the left side. Take the arms again into cactus, and again, release where necessary. And then uncross the top ankle again. Bring the knees back through center and extend both legs out long, setting up for a final resting pose, Shavasana. Let the arms rest by the sides and just find a comfortable position. The more comfortable you are, the more you can relax. Just let the body and the breath go on autopilot. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And then open your mouth and audibly exhale. And then roll over onto one side. Stay here for a breath. And then on your next inhale, push your way up into a seated position, just like the one that you started class in. Bring the hands to touch at heart center, keeping the eyes closed. Take a deep inhale through the nose and a deep exhale through the nose. Take a moment just to reflect on your practice, maybe even setting an intention going forward into your day or your night. One last deep inhale, one last deep exhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.